So the other day one of our members asked, Connor, can you make me a inner thigh and core workout? So that is what we're doing in today's video. Hey there, Hunter here from Hybrid Fitness, and today we're gonna to get the inner thigh and core workout. And I wanna let you know that in the description below, there is the actual workout, so you can go through and make sure you're doing the right exercises if you don't have access to this video at all times. We've also got different levels for you with different exercises and different times, so if you feel like this one that I'm gonna walk you through today is a little bit harder than, than what you're used to, then you can go ahead and go up to level one, or if it's too easy, then you can make it harder and choosing level three where Workout, so take note of those, but let's get ready to it. This is going to be a follow along inner thigh and core workout. All right, so before we actually get into the walk along workout, what I'd like to do with you today is go through how to actually do the exercises, maybe what are some modifications for those, again, which will be down below in the description. So our first exercise that we're doing today is a sumo squat. Now the sumo squat is like a regular squat. First off, you want to make, your, make sure your shoes are tied. We're gonna have our toes out wide, weight in the heels, and we're going to come right down and exhale up. And what I like to do is actually have my hands out here, but when your feet are pointed out at this 45 degree angle, you're gonna feel it all in your inner thighs, and that's what we're going for. Now, if you have trouble getting as low as I am, that's okay. Just go wherever you can, even right here, you're gonna feel it in your inner thighs. And if you're really having trouble with that, then put a chair behind you or something that you can sit back on and step up on, and that will give you uh, what you need. So again, you're going to be coming through here and each round you're going to be doing about 20 of those. Directly after the sumo squats, this is a killer, we're going to go into the sumo wall sit. So same exact position with our feet, we want to push with our butt and stay tall. And you're going to hold this for, depending on what level you're at, 30 seconds or 45 seconds, you're holding that position, staying tall. Really do your best to keep your hands off your knees. If you notice, again, the weight is in my heels, my knees are behind my toes. After that, we're gonna go to plank and reaches. And plank and reaches are when you get into this, this plank position. So in the plank position, your elbows are below your shoulders, you're squeezing your butt, and this is it. Now you can modify it coming to your knees like this, or you could also, if you have a chair or a bench or something, and that position's hard, you could, you could be straight, but you'd have your elbows up on that elevation if that makes sense. So once you're in this plank position, you're holding it, your goal is to keep every part of your body as still as possible, except for the arm. So what we want to avoid is the big hip rotation because this is no longer working your core, it's just working your shoulders. But if you lock it down right here, squeeze your butt, exhale. Do everything you can to prevent motion, you've got that. So that was where your plank and reaches. Right after your plank reaches, you're gonna roll over to your side and you're gonna do 10 repetitions three times and different ranges of motion. So it's the inner thigh, so we're gonna move and push our heel up and we're gonna go 10, 10 times up and down, just like this. Then we're gonna go 10 times into the middle and then we're gonna do 10 baby ones really quick. We'll flip around and do the other side. And then finally you have your body saw. So in a body saw, it's back into that plank position. And if you have sliders or you have a smooth floor and you're wearing socks, this one can be done a little bit differently than I'm doing it in this video where maybe you're basically moving back and forth and your feet would slide. Now obviously my feet aren't sliding very well right now because of the surface, but that's okay. Today what we're gonna do because of the surface I have is plank position and you're gonna gently rock back and forth on your toes. But when you're pulling yourself back to the front, what I want you to do, really dig those elbows in. Dig those elbows in, and then it's gonna fire up your core. So those are your five movements for this workout. Again, I'm gonna walk you through this right now. So skip ahead and we'll get right into it.
All right, so there you have it. That is that inner thigh and core workout. That is absolutely brutal. It's, it's a hard one, but if you're feeling it here and you're feeling it on those inner thighs, that's exactly what we're going for. If you like this video, you, you found like it was a good workout, then if you could please, I would, it would help me so much if you hit that like button below. If you have any other requests for future workouts or videos, maybe another inner thigh and core workout, or maybe you wanna work on the arms, leave a comment below and let me know so we can make that for you. And of course, if you're a mom right now, who you feel like you need a, a community, you need some extra support, you just want these little tips and tricks that keep you going day to day, uh, then there's a link below in our description that will invite you to our mom only Facebook group where we're constantly helping people and, and there's over 1500 moms in there now to help you, uh, someone who's similar and going through the same things as you. And finally, subscribe. We're coming out with these videos constantly. If you just hit that subscribe button, I would I thank you so much. It supports us and, and helps us help more people. So until next time, I will see you in the next video.